Hello, everybody. As you well know, we have hit 1,000 subscribers to our channel. But today, we're not going to quite celebrate that. We're going to be sorting wool. And later on, I will post a video, probably this coming Saturday, um, just to kind of celebrate, tell you what's going on and where we're going. So this was wool that was shown or uh, sheared, I guess. I don't know what shown the word for sure. Anyway, I've already done several bags. This is, um, this should be two. Two more left in here. This may be one. It's called skirting is what we're doing. And basically get this spread out nicely. I can then skirt around the edge and remove all the bad stuff. It's so like this. This has all kinds of little pieces of matter in it. Uh, and it looks like it's too short too, so we'll get rid of this. Now I can use this for felting, but I'll still have to go and clean a lot of this. This, I don't know, we'll come back to that and take a look at it, but that looks like it needs to go. You know, like some of these pieces, these are, these are long enough. But this isn't. This is not useful here. So this will get removed. Those who have been following me on Instagram and Facebook, I'm now over the processing of the wool, the uh, health of the, the sheep mainly. Another brother is taking care of feeding them every day. So I'm having to do all this part now. And yes, I'm still weaving and things like that. You can see this whole section here is really good. There's not much I need to do with it. There's not too much matter. So I can just pull this section out and give it a quick shake here. And you can't see all the small stuff that's flying off of it. Don't have my tripod with me right now. But I figured I'd better post this while I'm doing it. And this batch is good. And you can see this is another, that was a whole sheet there. I've already finished it. Now I'm starting on a second. These two are the same. So we keep them in the same batch. So this should come out as a oatmeal look, looking thread, I think, because all these yarns or um, hairs will get twisted together. Now you can see all the little, the dust coming down. Go here, wherever this was posted, here, there, not sure. But you can see the, the process of, after we do this, we take it to the mill. And I'm going up to a mill in Wyoming. And we'll record that if I can, the whole process there. And talk about yarn sizes and things like that. Something that um, I've been having some problems with is figuring out these yarn sizes. Uh, people use different systems. So there's a few small pieces on that. Now I'll come back to that when I put the camera down. But uh, for now, this is it. You just pull out pieces, get these little pieces out. And like I said, I'll go around the edge first. See, this is not useful. It's very matted. It feels like there's a stick in there. So that gets thrown out. Anyway. So, I'll be back. This is another one that's uh, it's in a bag. We'll go ahead and just pull it out. I'm actually supposed to keep these in burlap bags, not in trash bags. So I'm going to have to get some burlap. So 
I try <laughs> to unfold this to where most of it's up. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the main part is up, and then it's so much easier. Yeah. Well, looks like my cat's still hanging out over there. So, this is the last batch. So all together we should have about um, 11 bags of wool. Some of them with two or three sheep in it actually. Meaning their wool, not the sheep. Right. Well, there we go. Hey you! <laughs> I gotta move your wool, you know? 
What are you doing, cat? What are you doing? Hmm. What's that in your eye? Can I get that out? Is that better? <laughs>